Church of Christ, I want to uh, come and preach a word uh, this morning. Uh, we are hoping to be back in the building, as we have been saying, uh, on the first Sunday of February, and then hopefully we'll have our Bible class on Wednesday, that Wednesday night on the 10th. So we look forward to getting back together with everyone. Uh, thank God I've uh, we've been seeing a down, a slight downward trend in the cases across the country. Uh, we have people getting vaccinated, which is wonderful. Uh, we are, I am compelling and asking our saints that are over 65 who are able uh, and vaccination is available. Please go and get your vaccination uh, so you can be safe and get some type of level of uh, protection uh, upon uh, yourselves. So uh, continue to um, pray for everyone as we strive to get through this. I, I, I am longing to get back into in the building to be able to um, uh, spend time and see uh, members of the body. A few updates. We have uh, fixed a portion of the roof. We had that leak that was in the front by the stairs we fixed that portion of the roof thank brother tony for and brother um sherry for heading that up and getting that done uh, so things are still being done at the church try to get the church uh maintain the church and to gather it get it back together the way it should be there's a lot of things that we still need to do uh but we cannot do it all at one time we're just trying our best to uh, get it back together when we can uh, uh, the church is in good shape uh, for the most part. It's looking good, uh, but now we're having to do some things that's behind the scenes uh, to ensure that everything is well. Uh, we do look forward to updating our sound system and those things um, in the future. Uh, but right now, we got. I, I really want to make sure that we secure, uh, make sure the roof is well, and the, and uh, we're working on those front doors. Uh, to get those uh, ready, um, get those fixed uh, also. So uh, so we, we, we're trying to get some things done uh, to make that happen. Romans chapter 5 is where we'll be this morning. Uh, <clears throat> Romans chapter 5. Uh, we'll start reading at verse number 1. The Bible says, Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have access by faith into this grace in which we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only that, but we also glory in tribulation, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance and perseverance character and character hope. Now hope does not disappoint because the hope of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. For when we were still without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die. Yet perhaps for a good man, someone would even dare to die. 
But God demonstrated, demonstrates his love, his own love toward us. In that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. This morning, I want to use for a subject. I want to talk from a subject uh, just at the right time. When you look at this text and you go and read it from a different uh, version, the New Living Translation, I love the way the New Living Translation says in verse 6, it says, for when we could not help ourselves, just at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. So this morning I want to use for a subject, as I stated, just at the right time. When you look at the book of Romans and we see how Paul is laying out this discourse Paul is somewhat having a uh, debate in writing uh, with this text. He is writing a chapter and then he comes and he answers uh, questions that he would assume that they would have typically in the next chapter. Or he would come back and he would a build upon the chapter, a build upon his argument. Chapter one, he's talking to the Gentiles and showing them how uh, because they uh, did not adhere to the things of God that was just natural, they should have known. He said God gave them over to themselves. God gave them over to a reprobate mind. Chapter two uh, he comes and he deals with the Jews because he knows what the Jews are thinking and saying about uh, the Gentiles. So he comes and said that you are without excuse. Uh, you had the laws, you had the prophets, uh, and you had all of these things, but yet and still you uh, did not handle yourself and you are in need of a savior. You're in need of grace. Chapter three, he comes back and he deals with all of us. And he says, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Chapter four, he comes and he, he really pounces on and talks about uh, righteousness and what righteous and how uh, we, how Abraham was imputed righteous because he understands that uh, the Jews uh, really believed in the law and really believed in Abraham and they uh, was really all caught up on the circumcision and all that stuff that had to do with the law. And so he comes and he talks about it in chapter four, around verse 17, he starts, he starts talking about Abraham and he shows how that Abraham, it was not the circumcision uh, that, 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 um, uh, God was the reason God imputed uh, righteousness to Abraham, but it was because of Abraham's faith in God. Abraham believed in what God said uh, when he told him he would be a father of many nations. And even though his, his wife was old and had not had any children. And so he believed that. And so uh, God imputed righteousness to him uh, because of that. And so then he comes in verse number 23 of chapter four. He says, now it was written for his sake, it was not written for his sake alone that it was imputed to him, but also for us. It shall be imputed to us who believe in him who raised up Jesus, uh, our Lord from the dead. Uh, so so it was, it said, it's imputed to us also by faith. And so we come to chapter five and we approach the text and Paul is writing and he opens up by saying, therefore, having been justified by faith, he's saying, hey, so you've been justified by faith. And because you've been justified by faith, then uh, there are some benefits because you've been justified by faith, because you've been justified by faith. He says you are at peace with God 
through our Lord Jesus Christ. You see, uh, we were set apart from God and we, we were not at peace with God uh, because, uh, because of our sinful state, because of the state that we were in. Uh, but when Christ died, but when Christ done what he done, uh, now through Jesus Christ, we can be, uh, uh, we can be at peace with God. God. And not only will we have be in peace with God, but also we will have access to the grace of God. Verse number two says, through whom also we have access by faith into this grace in which we stand. Uh, see, it, it, it's, it's through Christ Jesus uh, that, that, that we believe, and it's through Christ Jesus uh, uh, that we receive access uh, to this grace. Lord, have mercy. What is grace? Grace is unmerited favor. And so we, we have access to this unmerited favor uh, that God has given unto us uh, through Christ Jesus. Uh, and that's how we stand. We stand not because of what we've done. And we don't, we stand not because of who we are. We stand because of what was done for us. Uh, and we stand because of who done it for us. Uh, and we stand because of whose we are, because we have been bought bought uh, with a price uh, that's more precious than silver and gold. Uh, and therefore, uh, we have access uh, to this grace uh, uh, through Jesus Christ. And because we have access through Jesus Christ, and because we have, uh, uh, we have been justified by faith, uh, and because of this, now we have a new perspective on tribulations. We have a new perspective on problems. We have a new perspective on trials. We have a new perspective. Uh, why do you say that? Well, in verse number three, he says, and not only that, but we also glory in tribulations. See, 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 because we have this new perspective because we have access to this grace, because we've been justified by Christ Jesus, uh, because we're at peace with God through Christ Jesus. Now, whenever tribulations come, uh, we have a different perspective. Uh, we don't see things like the world see things. We don't uh, act like the world acts whenever uh, problems and tribulations come. See, see, see. The Bible says we glory in tribulations. Uh, we glory in tribulations. Why? Because we know that it is through tribulations that things are fin something is going to happen. We realize, we realize that, we realize that, yes, I may be going through something, but if God's taking me through this, uh, then it must be something better on the other side. Uh, if God is taking me through this, uh, then there must be something that I, I have to learn, I should be learning from this situation uh, because he says in verse number three, knowing that tribulations uh, produce perseverance. Uh, tribulations make me stronger. Uh, he says it's through tribulations uh, that I develop my spiritual your muscles. It's, it's through tribulations uh, that I that I that I that I experience that I develop uh, uh, this persevering uh, mindset. That that if God brought me here, God will take me through it. If if God brought me to it, He'll take me through it. If if God if God if God allowed it to come, uh, God will make me able, be able to stand in it. Uh, uh, this perseverance that we have, uh, that whenever tribulations come, uh, we start saying things like if God. God before me, who can stand against me? We start saying things like, uh, start saying things like, like, like my God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches in glory. We start saying things like, uh, God will never leave me nor forsake me. Uh, we start saying things like, by his stripes, uh, I am healed. Why? Because uh, we have a new perspective, because uh, just at the right time, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. God uh, did something for me. I, I'm trying not to get too excited, but I'm trying to get to, the, to where I want to be. Uh, watch this now. Watch this now. Uh, he says uh, perseverance uh, uh, and, and perseverance of uh, character and character hope. See, 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 uh, we, we develop uh, some character uh, whenever you go through something. 
Whenever you go through something, you develop some character in God. Whenever you, and when you develop that character in God, you have a hope, you have hope. See, I have a new hope in God because of what I've gone through. See, it's this hope, this hope that says, if God brought me through it last time, he'll bring me through it this time. This, this hope that says uh, that he brought me over that mountain, he'll bring me over this mountain. That hope that says he brought me through that sickness, he'll bring me through this sickness. Uh, that hope that says he, he got me this job, and he'll get me another job. That hope that says uh, that things are going to change because God changed them before. That hope that says, uh, I know it may look bad now, but it's looked this way before before and God brought me out on the other side uh, before and I have this hope in God that God will do what he says he's going to do. And, and watch this now in verse number five, he says, now this hope doesn't disappoint. This hope doesn't disappoint. Why? Because, uh, because uh, uh, the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given uh, to us. Uh, see, 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 this hope doesn't disappoint because uh, God gave me something. Uh, God put something in my heart. He poured out, poured out in my heart the Holy Spirit, uh, which shows me the love of God. Mm. And then watch Paul uh, as I get to my, my subject here. Then watch Paul here in verse number, number six. Uh, he says, for when we still were still without strength, mm. when, we, when we could not help ourselves, when we were weak and when we, when we were downtrodden, uh, he says, he says, in due time. Uh, uh, Christ died for the ungodly. Remember, we talked about the New Living Translation says um, when we could not help ourselves, when we were hopeless uh, 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 in just the right time. Christ died for, watch this y'all, he didn't die for, for, for those who were righteous. He didn't die for those who were doing it, doing so good. The Bible says he died for the ungodly, ungodly. Uh, he says, he says, in just the right time, uh, he didn't wait for us to get right. He, he didn't wait for things uh, to be perfect uh, in ourselves. Uh, he didn't wait for us to stop doing what we were doing. Uh, he didn't wait for, uh, he didn't wait for uh, everything to be perfect uh, on our side. Uh, but, but, but whenever it was perfect on God's side, he said, just in the right time, uh, uh, he showed his love for us by doing what? For Christ died for the ungodly. Oh, there's some good stuff here. There's some good stuff here. Uh, see, watch this, y'all. He says, he says, for us, scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet perhaps for a good man, someone would even dare to die. Uh, but God demonstrated his own love toward us uh, in that while we were still sinners, uh, Christ died for us. Oh, what are you saying, preacher? In just the right time, uh, God died for us. In just the right time, God demonstrated his love toward us. What was the right time? Uh, the right time uh, in verse number eight was when we were still sinners, when we could still not help ourselves, when we were still downtrodden, when there was still a, a gap between us and God, when we still stood afar off from God. When, 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 when uh, uh, turtle doves uh, and uh, bulls were not enough. When uh, uh, the, 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 the sacrifices uh, of lambs and sheep were not enough. When uh, the atonements uh, once a year was not enough. Come on here. Was not enough. Uh, uh, when, 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 when the, the writing of the law was not enough. Uh, uh, when, when we had to keep going back year after year uh, trying to get ourselves clean uh, was not enough. Uh, uh, Christ died for us. Uh, when our sins uh, 
could not be clearly washed away, but they could be just held back. Was not enough. Christ died for the ungodly. Just in the right time, Christ died for us. That's why I tell I need to let somebody know. I'm trying not to get too happy. Let somebody know that's going through your problems now. Uh, if he came through in just the right time, then he'll come through in just the right time now. Can I come on and bring it forward? Uh, uh, can I bring it on forward uh, if we serve a God uh, that is an always on time God? Uh, he saved us in just, he sent his son in just the right time. Uh, his son died at just the right time. Uh, he raised his son at just the right time. Uh, uh, he sent the Holy Ghost up at just the right time time. Come on here. Just the right time. Uh, he, he gave us a uh, hope at just the right time. Uh, and so when I'm going through my problems uh, and you going through your problems, uh, you just need to know that you just serve uh, uh, just at the right time. God, uh, whenever the doctor said no, remember some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, just at the right time, God said yes. When you lost that job and they thought you wasn't going to make it, just at the right time, God showed up and showed out. When you thought your kids were going to lose their minds, just at the right time, time, God uh, saw fit to make, thing, make things work. Uh, when those bills were due, uh, didn't know how you was going to make it, uh, didn't know what was going to happen. Uh, the lights were going to be cut off tomorrow, uh, but just at the right time, uh, God uh, made a way out of no way. Uh, God uh, kept your lights on. Uh, God uh, fed your children. Uh, God uh, put clothes on your back. Uh, why? Because that's what he does to demonstrate his love. And it was at just the right time. And so I want to let somebody know that you may not be a child of God. You may be still caught up in your case of the I can't help it. I can't help myself. I can't fix myself. You know what? Christ died just at the right time for you to obey him right now. And you obey by hearing the word of God, hearing how he came from hell, how he died on a rugged cross, how he was buried in a borrowed tomb, how he rose the third day, and how he, uh, how he came and he ascended back to heaven. And one day he's coming back for a church without a spot or a wrinkle. And at just the right time, which is the day is your time, you hear the word of God. Believe that that you heard. Repent of your sins. Confess Christ has been the son of God. Be willing to go down the water of baptism for the remission of sins. And the Lord will add you to his body, which is his church. If you are here, if you are there and you're wondering, you're wondering how I, I believe, I understand, I want to be baptized. How do I, how do, I do that? How do I, how, do I, how do I just reach out to the church? Uh, reach out. You see our phone numbers on our website. Uh, reach, 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 reach out, uh, and we'll come and we'll we'll make sure that we'll do whatever we need to do to make sure that you are buried in the watery grave of baptism uh, for the remission of your sins, and, and we'll do whatever we need to get, to make sure that the Lord uh, can be your savior. And if you are a member of the body of Christ but you're struggling, that's okay. Uh, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord will work it out if you just give it to Him. Uh, we'll pray on your behalf. We'll pray for you. If you need any of these any of these requests, please let us know. Church family, if you need to get to, get need a, need a prayer request, uh, you can you can you can uh, uh, put it up on Facebook. Uh, uh, you can uh, reach out to the church. You can do whatever you need, and we'll pray for you. And I'll make sure the brothers and sisters pray uh, for you on your behalf. God bless you. May God keep you. May His face continue to shine on you. God loves you, and so do I. Have a wonderful day.